Worm that does not belong here is showing up in the Bay Area, and it's potentially deadly. It's called the New Guinea flatworm. As ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler shows us, they may look harmless, but they're toxic. She immediately got her, uh... Alicia Tate is great at keeping her kids entertained during the summer. Let's go! Let's go! But she also wants to make sure they are safe. Living in Odessa, she knows there could be snakes or even alligators around. But what about the New Guinea flatworm? Never heard of them at all. We have all kinds of bugs in Florida, so I thought I've seen it all. The New Guinea flatworm originated in that South Pacific island, but made its way to Miami in recent years, likely mixed in with plants and tropical fruits. Experts say don't touch the worms because they have a toxic slime that can cause an allergic reaction. They can also carry a parasite that can infect people, even leading to meningitis. I've got two dogs and they eat things that they're not supposed to eat all the time. I've got a toddler and a baby. So um, any kind of toxic uh, bugs definitely alarm me. The concern even sparked a rumor that you should call 911 if you see one of the black and gray creatures. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission says that's overstating the danger, but the real concern is to our ecosystem because these pests feed on snails. You can kill the New Guinea flatworm by pouring boiling water on them and use a plastic bag to pick them up. I will definitely keep an eye out for them, uh, and uh, I've heard some ways to get rid of them, so I'm going to uh, take that advice and make sure that they are nowhere on my, my property. The FWC is tracking the spread of these worms, so if you find one, contact their exotic species hotline. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.